Mega Man has returned with the 11th numbered version of the games. Booting up the game for the first time showed me what looks like a beautiful reimagined Mega Man game with 3D versions of the on-screen characters. Has Mega Man moved on from its origins to offer something new? Or do we still have the same rage-inducing platformer from the past with a new coat of paint? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I am Lucas from Aussie Gamers Express and today I am taking a look at Mega Man 11 on the PlayStation 4. I played Mega Man 11 on the PlayStation 4, however it is also available on the Xbox One, Steam PC and the Nintendo Switch. About a year ago, Mega Man 11 was announced to an audience that had already seen the likes of 20XX and The Mighty No. 9, two platforming games that draw heavy inspiration from the Mega Man games of the past. While Mighty No. 9 was canned for its severe difficulty and lacklustre design and controls, 20XX was praised for its visuals, swift controls and roguelike gameplay. With a new Mega Man game releasing in 2018, where does it fit in the mix and is it a worthy entrant into the Mega Man legacy? The rage is real in Mega Man 11. Starting off, the game feels like a massive slap in the face, with most games of this generation lending a helping hand early in the game to help you find your feet. Mega Man 11 does none of this, and actually punishes you from the beginning. Mega Man 11 reverses what most games do with a difficulty spike. It starts off infuriatingly hard, regardless of your difficulty selection, and goes on to get well, easier as you defeat bosses and unlock their special abilities to use for yourself. The difficulty options offered are Newcomer, Casual, Normal and Superhero. I opted for the Casual to ease myself into my review playthrough to only find that, well, either my skills had diminished since playing 20XX or they were just never there to begin with. For the casual Mega Man fan, the casual difficulty is insanely punishing by limiting your attack rates and giving you only 5 lives to complete an entire level with. Finding no luck with this setting, I dropped it down to the newcomer setting, which offered up infinite lives, a faster attack rate and simpler enemies to defeat. While the newcomer difficulty enabled me to make my way through the levels, it didn't offer me any sense of achievement based on how I actually finished the levels. Mega Man 11 makes it easier to finish the levels by almost offering invincibility to the player, rather than making the levels more intuitive to manoeuvre through. Now I'm under no illusion that a lot of my struggles were due to my inability to play such a demanding game, but the part that I found poorly designed is the difficulty spikes. Now Mega Man 11 is what I would refer to as a game that is inaccessible to casual fans of the game. Hardcore fans of the game will love the gameplay, but the average Joe will put it down after 10 minutes of painful death after death. Mega Man 11 has received a new coat of paint and looks the goods. The animations look delightful and the enemies and levels also fit this build. Mega Man 11 does fit the brief of a Mega Man game, which would have been ideal maybe 10 or 15 years ago. In 2018, a platformer of this caliber won't appeal to the masses, which is why I believe Mega Man 11 is set to scare most away. Mega Man 11 feels stiff in the controls department, which essentially stays true to the control style of the games of the past, but by today's standards they feel unresponsive and archaic. Mega Man 11 sadly wasn't a fun experience for me to play. The joy of the gameplay wasn't there and if there was anything at all it was wiped away by the disappointment of the game's unfriendly style of play. Now I've got to say, please remember, this review is based upon my experience and opinions alone. I would like to hear your opinions in the comment section down below. We are all entitled to our own opinion, so go ahead and comment. Now there are parts of the game that are received well, so it's not all that bad. The new bosses are interesting and obtaining their abilities upon beating them adds new ways to go back and finish other levels. 
Sadly, these really cool elements are shrouded in that nasty cloud of anger and frustration that I've already explained. Well that's all I've got for today, so thank you very much to everyone who has watched this review. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button if you want to come back for more of our videos in the future. Until next time, I am Lucas, and I will see ya! Target, square things up!